So unfortunately, I just found out I had uh, recorded this with the wrong settings on my audio box, making it a bit more noisy. I do hope you can hear the difference of this microphone and compared to what you're going to be hearing, but enjoy the video nevertheless. Hey, what's going on YouTube? So today I thought I might as well just make a Kerbal Space Program video because hey, why not? It's been a while and I've had no idea what to do, but now when 0 0.19 came out with re-entry effects, I thought it could be pretty cool trying to show re-entry effects. Now, one thing about the uh, patch itself is it actually didn't make re-entry lethal or fatal. So a mod called Deadly Reentry Effects uh, finally appeared where you need uh, heat shields to actually enter an atmosphere before dying horribly. So that's actually what I've done. I've taken the Mark 1-2 one uh, one command pot here and I've stuck two um, heat shields and actually some solar panels as well. This is just going to be a demonstration of it so I'm going to be using Hyper Edit. Uh, just got it on here and we shall try and arrow break through jewel because jewel sounds like an interesting place to arrow break correct so first of all uh, when we want to look at it we can right click on the um, heat shields I'm just gonna try and get the one down here and it's gonna give us a value I have no idea what the value itself stands for because it can impossibly be uh, Kelvin or centigrade since I actually did see when I was using it earlier a couple hours ago on the moon it reached like minus 400 which is stupid so it must be Fahrenheit or some other different value as you can see right now it's 20 or 0 0.20 which is all good and fine okay so shall we try and set it into an orbit around Joule they've changed uh, the hyper edit menu here and the reason why I may be making a less interesting video right now is I had intentions of actually making um, a physics how-to about kinetic and potential energy but somehow my calculations failed horribly so I just said no I'm not I'm, no, I'm just gonna give up okay so let's see here we're gonna just decrease um, the velocity so it can skim the atmosphere which is um, 138 kilometers just have to be sure here 120 we're going to set it 101 one more 83 geez louise so by doing this arrow breaking maneuver I do believe the curbs are going to have a very bad time it could get a bit toasty who knows and um we shall see how lethal it is. I've already planned. I've bear in mind I have not tried it yet, but I'm a re reason why I have two heat shields is I can imagine this one would get toasty, and you can see it's changing values as soon as I'm pointing it here, just a tiny bit. Um, so I'm expecting to switch in between these two heat shields just to cool the big one off. Um, so have it in some sort of spiral stop, and take some more heat. Otherwise, I would die horribly. They're going to die horribly anyways because of the pressure on Jewel. God. And if you can hear some sort of humming or buzzing sound in the background, I do apologize. It is my computer. Um, I've kind of screwed up my fan system. So they're making a lot of noise. And of course, when you're running a GTX 680, um, that card can get quite toasty as well. We just entered the atmosphere. Cool. So we're just going to be... This is actually super weird. The fuck. The value is decreasing. And now, this is also what happened on the moon. Minus something, 400 and whatever. Which would actually be colder than what anything could become in centigrade or Kelvin. So I'm not sure. I, Even though I may have an American accent, I have no idea how the Fahrenheit system works. I'm not sure what the minimum... Fahrenheit temperature is, <clears throat> but at least in European standards, this is a super fucked up temperature. If it's even, a, it could be K 
Pentagrade, Kerntigrade. Uh, could be a new game value that I haven't understood yet. So, just gonna try falling into the atmosphere here. Hopefully, the uh, value would stop decreasing and begin to increase. Yep, yeah, it's increasing now. Cool, cool. And uh, we would like to see some nice effects here, shall we? Hopefully. Okay, now it's going fast. Now you you can see it now. Yep, we're beginning to get some um, lights here. And now we're up in the positive numbers. There's still a slight... Um, oh god, the temperature's actually increasing by a horrible amount. I'm just going to switch it here. Oh god, jeez. Yeah, so my theory about the temperature falling when spinning it is actually correct. Great hypothesis. And I'm going to be looking down here in the corner for overheat. Just in case. We are moving quite fast, 5.5 kilometers per second. Oh god, the value's up now at 4,000. I have no idea what it means. <clears throat> if it's in Fahrenheit, okay. It could be a lot. It's still increasing, I'm gonna just... Oh god. Oh, actual... Look at it. Oh, it's overheating. It's overheating. Oh god. See, I just did the spinning technique. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, this is gonna be painful. just gonna take my heat shield here and it kind of blew up so I'm just gonna be spinning like a wild man here <laughs> but re-entry effects are kind of cool aren't they look at it wow it's a pretty in the Julian atmosphere I should probably have sand down hold on oh I see I deactivated it on Windows whatever so it does look as if I'm melting gold of some sort or steel and boom at an altitude of 102 kilometers my poor curbs couldn't resist the heat anymore and actually had to give in I wouldn't say it's the Kerbals actually I would say more the capsule itself so um, nothing more to say except for if you're installing this mod do beware this could be fatal I've tried to re-enter Kerbin's atmosphere a couple of times and it's quite easy to survive with the heat shields, but you're not going to survive without. Just a quick fact. Otherwise, Red, he's on vacation right now. He should be coming back hopefully quite soon. I'm not sure when, sometime in April. Um, I'm going to have a hard week in front of me. I'm going to be trying to posting videos daily, or at least every second day, I would hope so. Some Daisy videos could be coming up. I just need my friends to come online so I can play with them. Know what I'm saying? And uh, because it's boring just watching me play Daisy alone. And for that sake, also Kerbal Space Program. I could actually have a guest. Uh, I, I know a guy who's an astrophysicist, which is uh, kind of cool. Anyways, my name's Ben Malloy. Don't forget to subscribe, favorite, like the video. All those things means a lot to us. Yada, yada, yada. I'm just kidding. I, it actually does mean a lot to us. And, um... Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.